the voice of the Igbo man will be heard sometime, some hour in God's divine calendar someday. Cognition of the state of Biafra, I don't know why, but in the realm of the spirit, as the Lord has opened the eye of the major prophet of God to look at. <laughs> He will be released, but he has to pray for his health. He has to pray, even after his release, to have that where we die, the strength. Indeed, the spirit is willing, but the flesh is weak. Let's pray for him. Namdekanu must fight to stay alive, especially he must think about his health. Very important. The voice of the Igbo man will be heard sometime, some hour in God's divine calendar someday. Sometimes. God uses the foolish things of this earth to confirm the wisdom of the wise. Even after this election, we pray that people who are declared winner should pray that they should enjoy their reign. They should not be rushing abroad continually for medical treatment. It's very important. important you might abuse me you might insult me i receive it i'm a messenger i will still tell you what i want to tell you the seat of power of this country where with due respect to all our excellencies our presidents who have who have been president and the one there now the seat of power there is a spiritual cause on that seat there is a force i know you will tell me it's not obtainable i know you are elite but there's a cause that make men who have something to do for this country enter there and they are not able to do it it's a force The seat of power you see that place where they stay and call it the power there are a power that stays there before they come there are unforeseen power that changes and convert good intentions of good leaders it is after they live there their eyes become open and they begin to say i was supposed to do Africa, we're coming a new country in Africa, and this was called this was called more recognition of what's called different state, different countries of Africa is now going to go into what's called recognition of the state of Biafra. I don't know why, but in the realm of the spirit, as the Lord has opened the eye of the major prophet of God to look at these things, I am a prophet of the whole world, and whatever I see in the realm of the spirit, I go ahead and prophesy them so that when I prophesy them, when they begin to happen, you will not say, Oh, this man is from here, is from there, is this, is that. You will know that this is what's called pure revelation because I'm seeing different countries. I'm seeing Ghana, I'm seeing Ghana, I'm seeing countries. I'm seeing different countries. I'm seeing what's called Burkina Faso. I'm seeing what's called this was called Mali. I'm seeing different West African country. We're coming a new country, and this was called people now now recognizing stage of Biafra. I don't know why, but the Lord remain God forever and ever in the name of Jesus Christ. Because Major Prophet of God is the prophet of the whole world to now continue to say whatever 
I see in the road of the spirit. So when I say pray, and I say people should now join hand to pray with the major prophet of God to now stand in the gap. Because what's, what's intercessory prayer or what's called standing in the gap to pray is one of the most demanding, the most demanding spiritual profession that is needed in the body of Christ. Needed in the body of Christ. And this is why in the body of Christ, whether we like it or not, there must be people who must continue to pray even without gain, praying without looking back, praying without even looking at anybody. They pray the prayer spiritually and physically interceding. People who are right there in the forest praying. People who are right there in their inner chamber praying. People who are right there on top of the mountain of possibility praying. People are right there on the toppest of the top of the mountain and this toppest of the top of the mountain is where the Lord has put the major prophet of God to stay there at the first second and third heaven to be able to oversee everything happening on the planet earth everything happening on the planet earth to oversee and to see it all and be able to prophesy them the way they are so that people can be able to see and give God the glory in the realm of the spirit, the Lord cannot keep his servant, the major prophet of God, ignorant of what is going on. Because I am seeing what's called, this was called in the realm of the spirit, what's called the, the, the movement of mineral resources from one soil to another. I don't know why these things are being shown to major prophet of God. People in Nigeria should wake up and be spiritual enough. Because when you are seeing this flood coming here and there, it's for a purpose. In the realm of the physical, it's for a purpose. And for, it's for what's called a purpose. This was called a transportation, spiritual transportation of mineral resources moving from one place to another. <laughs> I don't know why. Because I am seeing what's called mineral resources that I told you some months ago that are going to be discovered in the south and eastern part of this country. It's going to be discovered in such a way that it will be excess and there will be what's called the flood is about to transport. We have to, we have to do something to stop this. This was called a spiritual robbery to, to now transport what's called a mineral resources from one state to another, one state to another. I'm seeing places in the southeast, I'm seeing places in the Niger Delta, I'm seeing places in part of the north and different places. I'm seeing what's called this was called spiritual transportation of mineral resources through flood to move from one place to another. But God knows it all. And whatever is going to bring people to now siphon people and also make people cry, the Lord has revealed to major prophet of God because there's no secret in the realm of the spirit that is hidden before God. For my God knows it all. But somebody will say, oh, why, 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 why is the rain bringing flood or what this or that? It's not just rain. This is what's called a spiritual transportation of what's called mineral resources from one state to another, from one country to another, from one region to another, from one place to another. But major prophet of God has put a satellite and I've seen it all in the realm of the spirit to now digest it in the physical. So beloved, I believe we heard what prophet Joshua Igila has to say and also on the major prophet of God consigning the Afra and also Mazi Nandikabu. This video is a lot, but we are going to break it into session. Before I continue, please, if you're coming across my channel for the very first time, please do wait to subscribe, comment, like, share, and also don't forget to turn on the post notification to get notified so that whenever I upload a new video, you'll be the first to be notified easily. And please do wait to give this video a thumbs up comment and share this video to make sure that it gets to a lot of people for them to be aware of what God is saying concerning Biafra at last and also the flood that is about to take place in Nigeria in some 
state so let's get into this video bit by bit first of all the man of god talks about um Martin Ilan de Kalu, that they should pray for him and he should take his health serious that the spirit is willing but the flesh is weak at the end of the day we don't know what is going to happen to him after his release as you all know um which is going to be on tuesday 24th of september 2024 he's going to appear before the supreme court again as you all know somewhere somewhere um ending last month towards early of this month the chief justice handling his case actually resigned that he her life has been threatened and that of her family some a whole lot of shenanigans but we are not going to go that in details because she's not the center of attention in this video Mazi Landikalo is and Biafra as a nation is so we need to pray to make sure that these things come into manifestation yes let's pray that Mazi Landikalo will be released finally at the end of the day as you all know somewhere Tinibu came out to say that oh I actually give the go ahead for him to be released but some Igbo people say that he should not be released and that stirred up a lot of conversations on the internet and a lot of people were carrying it that and Igbos don't like each other they don't support each other see it is like that with everybody even down to the children your mother gave birth to it's not all of you that like it but when it comes to fighting against outsiders you are going to join forces probably you may not like the way i'm doing something because i'm your sister that does not mean that you should support me when you know that what i'm doing you don't like maybe is against your personality or your belief as a person then because we share the same mother the same father you just want to support me like that probably uh, some people don't know how to hide their feeling in that case and for him to be set free and then some fellow Igbo brothers and sisters are saying that he should not be released at the end of the day god knows what they want and we don't know but one thing for sure his next appearance is just a couple of days from now which is just four days as of today so let's do it to pray and put him in the hands of god to make sure that he comes out successfully and is healthy and sound at the end of the day because one thing is to be released and another thing is to live long you hear so that somebody's life is not being shortened if you get what i mean at the end of the day so let's pray for mazin and Dikalu. let's pray that everything goes successfully and he will be finally out after so many years because the crimes that other people actually commit they are way worse than, than him all he wants is just freedom all he's fighting for is biafra he's just agitating so i don't know and i don't want to know what his agitation means to the federal government of nigeria that it has he has to be locked up so that shows that this person carried power and people are actually listening to him and they know that something beautiful is going to come out of it at the end of the day and that is why they are doing everything within their power to make sure that they shut this particular movement out down and the only way they can do that is by arresting Mazi and Kalo. and as you all know you're not a stranger if you're living in nigeria you're not under a rock you should have known what has been happening for the couple of years let me say that because he, that man has been locked up for so long in that particular cell and he needs to be out at the end of the day so let's just pray and put everything in the hands of god that <laughs> may the will of god be done in the case of biafra coming out being recognized within west africa as a continent on its own standing by itself with their currency and see it will be a beautiful thing one thing i feel like nigeria is over choked so a lot of people want out anything that will benefit individuals please let it happen because it seems like nigeria is too big for the government to actually handle the affairs of other 
state so a lot of injustice are happening in nigeria but it doesn't grace your news not your television because it is not popular because a particular video did not go viral on that particular topic or that incident that does not mean that things are not happening that the government does not even care the next thing you see they are sending palliative to that particular location or environment all in the name of okay this thing will be like ah, come on we are not babies we are not children things are happening okay the incident of medugri just imagine how the government was warned that okay this down is cracking as back as 2021 to 2022 they have been announcing it that come and do something about this particular down the down is cracking and we don't know what to do at this point please do something about it before it destroys the government didn't they say hey, nothing will happen the yeah, manage it now no way africans we are good when it comes to management and we always want to throw a pity party for ourselves thinking that we are not capable of a lot of things but mind you we are capable of a lot we have all it takes to actually grow this continent into something beautiful and to be able to compete with the rest of the world but no we're not going to do that we are so greedy to ourselves that all we just want the rich want to be richer and the poor are just doing everything within their means to just get two score meals a day but <laughs> will that happen anytime soon which is just a lot for me but all i can say for free is that please let's not take a lot of things for granted and let's not overlook anything because everything is important and every hand needs to be on deck if biafra is recognized like the servants of god said so be it I pray that Mazen Nandikalo is free at the end of the day because all I want is peace. All this agitation that will lead to one or two things. See, civil war, if you have heard that stories and people that have lived past it, if they should tell you what actually happened or went down, you would never even pray for it to happen in the first place. For those that say, yes, let it happen so that at least freedom is not given freedom is fought for we know that freedom is being fought for but there are a lot of ways that you can actually attack freedoms before you actually fight yes you have been agitating and the federal government are making it look or make it seems like it's falling to deaf ear but war it's not the best solution to this thing see violence cannot actually take anything honestly it will rather destroy things i'm like make your lands barrens at the end of the day so there are things that we need to look into and we need to actually see that analyze it and say that okay this thing is actually going to favor us in this way in that way so that we don't suffer what we suffer the previous years back uh grandfathers grandmothers and some people that were able to live um through the civil war and are still alive to date kudos to them because <laughs> if they tell you the story it is not something you wish neither you pray for to happen but we thank god let's give get, uh, thanks to god almighty at all time and also let's put everything in prayer like the major prophet actually says that this fraud is not actually just going to happen for happening sake or because of things that this is like let me use his word he say is a robbery in the realm of the spirit because mineral resources are going to be transferred from a particular state to another state so it is just a whole lot so a lot of things are happening that we with the uh, two eyes can't see but people that sees and hear from god at all time they see these things and they come out to warn us and to be careful and be mindful of the kind of things we actually wish and pray for i'm praying that this particular dam should not be open the lassa dam i be what is it called at the end of the day is going to destroy a lot of home properties farm produce and so on and so forth because some products some farm products are still um babies they are not yet fully mature just imagine that if this water come what would be the fate of this farmer it's like their hard labor just went and the train like that so i pray it's not open i pray the water should not be too much that 
they have to open it. There will be no need. And there's nothing that is above God from doing. God can do it because he's able and he's capable. That is just what I want to share with you guys. Please do wait to subscribe, comment, like, share if you have not. And if you're a returning subscriber, thank you for watching. Oh, yeah, go,